Food has long been an important part of San Francisco's history. Whether it's fresh seafood, famous sourdough bread, or steaming coffee. Cafelate, cafelate, cafelate. <laughs> there are quite a few restaurants that have contributed to the city's culinary reputation for many generations and would like to give you a small sample of them. We begin at Swan Oyster Depot on Polk Street, a combination restaurant and fish market. And what we have here today is a big 50-pound octopus. We got some local snapper, we got raw prawns, we got crabs. Swan Oyster Depot has provided seafood to San Franciscans for more than 100 years. The original guys started down the block across the street around 1900. And they got burned out by the earthquake and fire. They reopened here in 1912. Tom Sanchimino's father bought swans in 1946. When my dad was a kid, he used to sell fish here. When we were little kids, we all came down here and worked. It's the only job I've ever had. Is it looking Joe, baby? Today, Tom and four of his brothers run the place. It's definitely a family affair. I got my brother Jim here. We got nephew Joe. And nephew Kevin up in front. We got the head anchovy. That's the big guy there. With such tight quarters, there's no room for disharmony. Seating is only at the counter, and it fills up fast. So we've come at 8 a.m. when Swans opens to beat the lunch crowd. Doug, how about some oysters and clams? The menu is limited, but everything is good and fresh. Now, that should hold you over for at least two or three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great way to start the day. By most standards, Swan's is a very old eatery. But it's a youngster compared to our next stop, the venerable Sam's Grill. Thank you. Three families have owned Sam's since it was established in 1867. 1867. 1867. Gary Seifert's grandfather bought Sam's in 1937 and has been in his family ever since. Hey, come on over. Come on over. Some of the staff has a remarkably long history here as well. The fish, the fish was coffee. Frank Morelli and Giovanni Sodini have each been waiting tables at Sam's for more than 30 years. When kitchen manager Al Neighbors was hired, John Kennedy was president. That's like a family to me. Sam's is closed on weekends, so the same crew always works together. Gary says that's why they're so close with each other and with their customers. A lot of them we know what they're going to eat before they even come in and sit down. They know what they're going to eat before they even walk in the door. One side of Sam's has cozy, private booths. And then, push the button, and that brings Giovanni <laughs> in with the food. That's great. Oh, man. A nice a little salad. It's a nice cold asparagus that I season now. Oh. Now you get some clean spinach, yeah. nice petrali. Oh, my gosh. And we have a nice salmon over here. Salmon and also good. we have a little rex saw over here. Nice rex saw. Which... <laughs> the food is fabulous at Sam's, and a lot of it comes from the sea. Environmentally, we try and do the right thing as far as the ocean's concerned. Uh, we always buy wild salmon if we can. Okay, we have a nice dessert now. We have nice crepes with anisette, very traditional Sam's Grill, yeah. and all very famous rice pudding. Giovanni takes very good care of me. How you guys doing? As he and his co-workers do with all their customers. Salute. <laughs> In a way, Sam's Grill is one big extended family, which is why many individual families have been coming here for generations. Best place in the city, how can you do? Nothing can you go wrong with that. The restaurant's great. Fantastic, not great. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mayor. Swan's Oyster Bar and Sam's Grill are both many, many decades old, and although this restaurant is a little bit younger, it's still a landmark in its own right a little piece of Southeast Asia, right here in San Francisco. It's called Kantok Thai House. And as far as we can tell, it's the oldest operating Thai restaurant in San Francisco. I basically describe it as a trip to Thailand. Angela Fasudani literally grew up in Kantok. Her parents opened it in 1976. 
First thing you do is very typical Thai is take off your shoes and you enter the house. You're sitting on the floor as normal Thai families do and then you know you're just surrounded by a lot of food, the smells of all the herbs and everything. So Before I get to eat yet again, Angela's mother, Ariwan, gives me a little Thai cooking lesson. And this one I just put a little one. So now I just cut them in a little line like that? Yes. Oh jeez. I'm not even trying to be bad. I flunk coffer leaf slicing, so we'll use the ones Ari one sliced for the Tom Young Gung soup we're making. Oh, great. Before I know it, Ari Wan, her husband Rang San, and Angela have laid out a feast, including two exotic and scrumptious salads, the soup we've slaved over, Thai barbecued chicken, a Thai crepe, and several other fabulous dishes, all very distinctive. It's kind of got a lot of different flavors. There's a lot of freshness with the herbs and the spices, and then, then you also have some heat from the chili peppers, and then some rich, richness that you can bring on from coconut milk and things like that. Khan Tok really is the grandfather of Bay Area Thai restaurants. Many people who worked here later started their own restaurants. People are always ask, oh, so I didn't know your parents had a restaurant. What, where is that? And I always say, oh, it's Khan Tok Thai House. And they're like, Really? And then, then people will just go on and on and get really excited, and it makes me feel really proud. Kantok really is great, but believe it or not, I've got one more restaurant I've just got to show you. It's a landmark in its own right, and literally right next door, it's Tommy's Mexican Restaurant, been in the Bermejo family since 1965. It is fabulous for Mexican food and drink. Tommy and Elmi Bermejo founded the restaurant on great Mexican cuisine. Now their son, Julio, has also made it the place for tequila. We pour about 260 different 100% agave products, and we use a lot of them to make amazing margaritas. The bar doubles as a tasting room, where Julio expounds on the subtleties and differences of various tequilas. They're all unique. They have their own house style. Julio has definitely tapped into something. Even on a weeknight, Tommy's is really hopping. Hey, salud! Oh! <laughs> Tommy's Mexican Restaurant and Khan Tok Thai House are located on Geary Boulevard between 23rd and 24th Avenues. Sam's Grill is downtown on Bush Street between Kearney and Montgomery. And Swan Oyster Depot is located on Polk Street between California and Sacramento.